Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Going to make this quick, don't have a lot of battery left. So it's almost a quarter after one. It is 1, 2, 16, 37.4 degrees, 3.2 degrees centigrade, 48% humidity, and the sun's not on my batteries anymore, and the moon is going down. I've had a couple of videos, or a couple of requests, about this pit bike. Um... And for those of just quickly, I bought this Speed Defies Gravity pit bike a while ago. And the engine on it, um, I had first and second gear. Um, fourth would skip a little bit. No, third would skip a little bit. Fourth would skip completely. You put it in fourth, let go of the clutch. If you put any kind of strain on it, it would just go click, click, click. It'd skip. Um, that was strike one for the engine. Strike two for the engine, it couldn't be kick-started. If you tried to kick it, it was jammed up. Um, so I used to kind of roll it down a hill and drop the clutch. That's how I would start the bike. So I, I ran it like that for a little while and decided, you know, this is a pretty cool bike after beating it about. And I decided to put a, a real engine on it, which is the Speed Defy, or the Lifran. I ended up putting a Lifran engine on it. It had the 110cc, whatever on the clone engine that was, and I put the 125cc on there. Um, and I've been asked questions about wiring the, these things. No matter what, whether you're wiring that or this or whatever you're wiring, you always, always, always have to look at it from the point of view of the um, CDI unit. The CDI unit is this square thing right here. Right? The entire world revolves around the CDI unit. And I always look at the back of the CDI unit with the little notch up, just like that. Right? And take note, the blue wire there, the green wire there, right? Black and yellow, red, right? Take note of those. Because this is a pit bike ignition I'm using to run this guy. Okay, um, turns out I think they copy the Honda ignition system. Or it appears as if they copied the Honda ignition system specifically for the ATC 125. Um, fairly similar to that guy, the 200X. They're all about the same. So, which means you can move a lot of the components around, particularly the CDI units. But, all right, so back of the CDI, right? In the upper left hand corner, if you got that little thing in the center the where it snaps on right that's this thing right here right look at it just like that just like I'm showing you see the thing right in the center there that little green thing where it snaps on from there from the little green thing that snaps on in the center if you go just to the left of that you have blue and white that's where the ignition nix that's where the ignition pulser has to hook up no questions don't put it elsewhere it won't work um so that's to the left of it to the right of it you have black and yellow black and yellow goes to the ignition coil right so the ignition coil gets black and yellow from the CDI unit, and it gets ground, green. And the last wire goes to your spark plug. Done. So you got the pulser. You got the ignition coil. What else do you need? You really need power for this thing. Power comes from the stator, which is the lower right-hand side. It's a red and black wire. That goes to the stator part of the CDI. You hook that up. Now you have power to your CDI. You have timing for your CDI, and you have output from your CDI to go to your pulse generator and give you a spark. The last thing you need, because everybody needs a reference, you need ground. So ground is the lower left-hand side, right? It's green, or green and red, and there you go. The black and white right there, that's for the kill switch. Um... And that's all it is. If you're looking at the bike, this is the wire coming out of the bike, right? This is the wire coming out of the engine specifically. Obviously, you have the stator. The stator is black and red. Um, the pulser is blue and white. And 
that's all that's coming out of the bike except for ground. This bike has two ground wires coming out from under the hood there. One of them is solid green, green, solid green, and the other one is green and red. Um, you're going to say, oh, I have more wires than that. You may if your bike has a second stator which runs lights or um, runs to a regulator and then is used to charge a battery or whatever like that. If we go right to the bike, right off to the bike, here's my pulser and it's exactly as I told you, right? Back up there, blue, blue and white, which is for the... Um, for the pulse generator, right, CDI unit in my hand, green wire to the lower uh, left hand side, that's ground, black and white, which is your kill switch, black and red, which is the lower right hand side, that comes from your stator, and black or white in the upper right hand side, that goes off to your coil. And there's your coil right there. Um, so the wires come out of here, and you watch them come up, and you just hook them up, right? Green to green. Very difficult? No. Um, I just went with green to green and red, because I checked these, and they're, they're the same. They're basically both ground wire, so I hooked up the extra ground wire. Blue and white to blue and white. Black and red to black and red, and that's it. It was that easy to hook up. If you're trying to do, um, my buddy used to call it, trying to hook an orange to an apple, i.e., you are not, you're using the wiring from the um, pit bike, um, the original pit bike, and you're you trying to wire up to the wire harness of the uh, the um, Lifran. Well. Um, I just I just went through all these colors and as a matter of fact you can buy this exact wire harness including the kill button and everything that's like a $19 eBay deal and I got one sitting right here just in case your bike didn't come right there's the kill switch I left it in the bag so I don't lose the hardware here's um Here's the wire harness. Unfortunately, when I fired this up, I was a moron. And I uh, let the wire harness sit up against the exhaust system while the engine got good and hot. So, yeah, I mean, this goes to the kill switch, obviously, right? So you see green, because you want to kill it to green. And you have a black and white, which, once again, does the kill switch, right? That's simple. Um, black and red. I have that going to the stator. Green for ground. I have that going to... Um, uh, green for ground. Right, right there. You can, you can see the green for ground. Right. I have the black wire on it. And then last I got blue and yellow. And that goes to blue and white, which does my pulser. Um, basically, for any bike to run, you have to figure out what the stator wire is. Black and red, right? So get the black and red to the right place on the CDI unit. You have to figure out which one is the pulser, because the CDI unit, even though it's powered, if it doesn't know when to shoot its pulse, um, you got to figure that out. That is the blue or blue and white. Hook that up to the CDI. Everything needs ground, green to ground. Hook that up. And then lastly is the wire, which is black and yellow, which goes out to here. And you can see right through there the black. I think you can see it. Black and yellow. Right. That goes to the coil, and the other one is green, ground, and that fires off the ignition. It really doesn't matter if you're putting a pit bike ignition on this thing, or that thing, or a pit bike. 
that's how easy it is to wire. You just have, quite honestly, four connections. One, two, three, and four. Fifth connection is if you want an on and off switch. Some people like them, some people don't bother. So I hope that helps. If, if there are any questions, please, please ask. Um, and I'll answer them. Uh, Rusty, um, you mentioned charging systems. Um, and I have to be honest with you, I'm a bit sloppy. I normally don't hook them up. But um, I will go out there, and I want to spend a few minutes on that Honda clone. I picked up the... I think it's a 125 with the reverse. I I do want to see um, spend a couple of minutes and go through the uh, wiring on them. And uh, after I I do that, I I'll be able to to answer your question. Um, I'm pretty sure the quad motor in the box out there. Um, only has a two-phase ignition system, which means you have a yellow and a pink. You hook that up to the regulator, and then um, you obviously have ground and a red wire coming out of the regulator. You hook that up to your battery, and um, that's all there is to it. Um, but let me... I, I mean, obviously, I know how to hook that up because I did, and it works. Um, but I, I haven't hooked up, um, and I haven't spent a lot of time messing with those DC circuits. But So before you write anything down, Rusty, let me take a little closer look at it. Folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Feet down, head up, and please get out there and enjoy all your days. Please like this video if you do. Um, that is always helpful. Take care, folks. Bye.